Officially, the Kremlin has mentioned that Putin earns an annual salary of $140,000, according to Fortune. His publicly declared assets include an 800-square-foot apartment, a trailer and three cars, the report further said. But he is often believed to be the world's richest man. Investment, an asset management company Hermitage Capital Management claimed in 2017 that Putin's personal wealth is $200 billion. The claim was made by the company's CEO Bill Browder before a Judiciary Committee of the U.S. Senate. His comments about Putin and Russia are taken seriously as Browder was a major investor in Russia during the 1990s. The claims about the Russian president's ridiculous amount of money keep doing the rounds due to to the lifestyle that he leads. Putin is seen wearing luxury watches, like Patek Philippe's perpetual calendar worth $60,000 and a $500,000 A Lang and Sewn Tubograph. According to Fortune, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, is one of the richest people in the world. His net worth is estimated to be between $32 billion and $60 billion. He is the chairman of the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund, PIF, which has assets of over $400 billion. MBS also owns stakes in a number of companies, including Twitter, Uber, and SoftBank. MBS's wealth has come from a number of sources. He is the son of King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the current king of Saudi Arabia. He also owns a number of businesses, including the Al-Walid bin Talal Group, which is one of the largest conglomerates in the Middle East. MBS's wealth has allowed him to exert a great deal of influence on the Saudi government and economy. He has been a driving force behind a number of reforms, including the Vision 2030 plan, which aims to diversify the Saudi economy away from oil. Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, the former president of the United Arab Emirates, had an estimated net worth of $15 billion. He was the Emir of Abu Dhabi, the richest emirate in the UAE, and he controlled 97.8 billion barrels of oil reserves. He also ran one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world, with reported assets of $830 billion. Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan's wealth came from a number of sources. He was the son of Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan, the first president of the UAE, and he inherited a large portion of his father's wealth. He also made money through his investments in a variety of businesses, including real estate, construction, and oil and gas. Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan's wealth allowed him to play a major role in the development of the UAE. He was a major investor in the country's infrastructure, and he helped to fund the construction of a number of schools, hospitals, and other public works projects. Hassan al Bolkiah, the Sultan of Brunei, is one of the richest people in the world. His net worth is estimated to be around $30 billion. He is the head of state of Brunei, a small country in Southeast Asia. Bolkia's wealth comes from a number of sources. He is the owner of Brunei's oil and gas industry, which is the country's main source of revenue. He also owns a number of businesses, including hotels, airlines, and real estate. Bolkia's wealth allows him to live a lavish lifestyle. He owns a number of palaces, including the Astana Nurul Iman, which is the largest residential palace in the world. He also owns a fleet of luxury cars, including a collection of Rolls Royces and Ferraris. He is the owner of Brunei's oil and gas industry, which is the country's main source of revenue. He owns a number of businesses, including hotels, airlines, and real estate. He lives a lavish lifestyle, owning a number of palaces and a fleet of luxury cars. He has been criticized for using his wealth to enrich himself and his family. He is still a popular figure in Brunei, seen as a benevolent ruler who has provided for the well-being of his people. Sultan Qaboos bin Said Al Said was the Sultan of Oman from 1970 until his death in 2020. He was the longest serving ruler in the Middle East and Arab world, and his wealth was estimated to be between $700 million and $900 million. His personal fortune was derived from the country's oil and gas sectors, and he was known for his personal financing of several restorations of mosques around the country. Kabus was born in 1940 in Salala, Oman. He was educated in England, and he attended the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. After graduating, he served briefly in the British Army. He returned to Oman in 1966 and was the subject of considerable restrictions from his father. In 1970, Kabuz ascended to the Omani throne after overthrowing his father in a coup d'etat with British support. His wealth was derived from the country's oil and gas sectors. He was known for his personal financing of several restorations of mosques around the country. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for new updates. It will give me motivation and write your feedback in the comment section.